All right, two Omega Speedmasters. This one is the Speedy Reduce or the Speedmaster Reduce, and this is the classic Omega Speedmaster. Um, currently have a crack in the Hesalite, so I need to get that replaced, but I just wanted to do a very quick comparison between the two. You can see the size difference. Um, this one, I believe, is around 41 millimeters. This on the Omega website says 35, but it does wear a little larger. I would say more like a 38. So the bracelets are definitely different on these. Um, this one's more like a Jubilee style, but I have both of them on the NATO strap. So let's go ahead and take a look at these. So one of the first things you notice is right away on the regular Speedmaster, all the pushers right here and the uh, crown is completely aligned and here it's off center. And the reason is the chronograph module on the Speedmaster Reduced is added on to the actual movement, which uh, according to, you know, different forums and uh, watchmakers is apparently difficult to work on so they actually just get a replacement module instead of even bothering to work on it so that is why you see this difference right here going to the sides pretty similar angles um, pretty similar just design but again, you can tell just the size difference. Let's go ahead and look at the case back on these. So you'll notice the back on the standard Speedmaster has the little um, part about being the first watch worn on the moon whereas the reduced does not because again it was not the original watch worn on the moon it's a smaller version of it you also notice right here um, different watch uh, case back removal tool needed for the regular speedmaster lugs uh, this takes 18 millimeter straps this one takes 20 millimeter straps one last thing to notice is the alignment of the chronograph module. On the standard Speedmaster, it's completely even, whereas on the reduced, you can see at the 3 o'clock, 9 o'clock, and 6 o'clock markers, it's kind of pushing into the hour markers. So you'll notice it's a little thinner on those markings. And the last thing is the little 5-minute or the five intervals right here, five, 10, going all the way to 60, whereas the original Speedmaster does not have that. You can also get this one with a Sapphire if you want. I got it with Hesalite just because I like the domed look and the warm hues that come with it, but uh, it's not as sturdy, I guess you could say, um, as you can tell since it is cracked right there. But again, I'm planning to get that replaced. So here are the two watches. So there you go, just a quick look at the Omega Speedmaster Reduced and the regular classic Omega Speedy.